We've uh, spent 10 days uh, touring Egypt with uh, Go Travel Egypt and uh, have been very pleased from start to finish. Started with the planning process months and months ago. Had numerous questions for um, Mustafa, who was gracious and patient, and answered them and helped us create an itinerary that enabled us to see the country from start to finish. Uh, Alexandria, Cairo, Giza, Sukkara, uh, the Nile River Valley, Luxor, Abu Simbal, Aswan, Dandara, you name it, we went there. The guides were knowledgeable and friendly. The drivers were safe and were waiting for us wherever we went. And we would have no uh, problem recommending the company. Uh, specifically, uh, we were happy to spend as much time as possible with uh, Rami, who drove us around in Cairo and Giza. <laughs> and, and we had a, a terrific time uh, with our guide in uh, Luxor and Aswan, which was um, Ahmed, was terrific. Uh, Mustafa was great to deal with and answered all of our questions, um, which we had tremendous. We, we packed a lot in in a short amount of time, and no one had any trouble um, keeping up with us. And Adele was always there to answer our questions whenever we needed them and provide comic relief. So we would definitely recommend Go Travel Egypt. I'd also like to add this part. Also, our driver played really good music for us. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dara Goldsmith. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States. Our family traveled with Go Travel Egypt um, for 10 days. We had a wonderful vacation. I have to say that the entire crew of people who work at the company were very helpful from picking us up at the airport in a cool air-conditioned van, assisting us to our hotel, helping us check in, um, picking us up to take us to the sites, recommending um, the way we visit the sites. For instance, when we were with our guide in Upper Egypt, um, we would go backwards from the normal tourists, so we would start not at Valley of the Kings like everyone else, and we would visit. We visited um, places there where there was nobody. When we went to the Valley of the Queens, um, he took us to sites there, and we visited two tombs. Um, there were more people in the tomb than outside the tomb. Um, it was a fabulous experience. When we went to Valley of the Kings, although it's a bit more crowded, um, we didn't have to fight crowds because we went against traffic. Um, with regard to the other tourists. We had a fabulous time touring um, the Great Pyramid and the Second Pyramid um, up in uh, outside of Cairo staying in the Giza area and we're happy with the instructions we were given about how to view the um, view the sites while inside and taking advantage of whether we were able to get tickets or not. Um, our guide was able to point us in the right direction and make um, helpful provide helpful information. Um, my husband and I are traveling with our two children who've had the opportunity to learn a lot about Egypt, so they really quizzed the guides and would ask a lot of questions, and we're very happy with the patience exhibited by the guides with our children. Um, they're truly talented, the guides, not the children. <laughs> and um, interesting, we were able to um, get assistance and have free time, which was nice. We went to markets and were able to adapt our uh, schedule to see the things we wanted to see. We visited some sites that may not be on everyone's itinerary, but would highly recommend um, taking time to go to Abydos as well as Dendera. Our guides had not been there in almost two years because it's not well traveled to, but it has been recently restored and we were able to see um, the history being unearthed and cleaned up, which was very fascinating. So I highly recommend uh, the company. Mustafa was always able to work with my husband and get everything situated and we would have no qualms about recommending the, the company at all. The drivers were very proficient and trust me, you do not want to drive here. Um, if you're thinking of coming to Egypt and think you can drive yourself, forget it. I drive freeways, I grew up in Los Angeles and these people are crazy drivers. So we not, highly not recommend the them. Not Rami, not our drivers. <laughs> are fabulous. Both our drivers in the south and in the north and in the south. We went to Abu Simbel, which is quite a drive, and we were part of a caravan. We highly recommend traveling in a small group because then you're able to move as quickly as you want to move. The large groups in front of us, um, who were with uh, tours with 20 and 30 people, would have to travel only as fast as the slowest 
old person who was asking lots of questions and had lots of luggage and was had to go to the restroom all the time. So we were able to say we wanted to go have this type of lunch or this type of breakfast or no, we didn't need breakfast. And we were able to say we've had enough time here, we want to go to the next site or we want to spend a little additional time. And that was certainly well worth the difference in cost of going with a large travel operator versus a small travel operator. And I just want to add, my favorite guide now is the worst guide in Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We want to say thank you. Thank you You're very welcome. much. Thank it was a great tour. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you and see you.